That's when social media can help us. And there, there are two dimensions where social media comes in. Most companies only focus on the first one, and that's trying to reach out to as many people as possible. And that's good, of course. Reaching out to big crowds is fantastic. But there's also a second opportunity, and that's collaboration. Working together with our, with our employees and with our clients. And, you know, the trick is to combine both. If you really want to use social media in a smart way, you say it's about reaching a lot of people, but also doing something for small audiences. And when we have the possibility, working together with, with people, both in and outside of our company. And the most things that we see on social media today are in the bottom right corner. We see fantastic campaigns, but they're still marketing campaigns. And then after that, we need to be lucky that, that we can do it again. I think that all four of those quadrants add value. And I bought an example of KLM, the Dutch airline industry. Um, they are seen in the world as one of the leading examples in social media usage. And what they are very good at is that every three months they have like a, a story that they develop that gets a lot of buzz, a lot of word of mouth, and it's fun, it helps them to build their reputation, and they reach out to millions of people. They're also leading in helping individual customers. One time, not structural, small reach, through a help desk that they created on Twitter and Facebook, and they're leading in terms of their service agreement that they made to consumers. They are saying, look, um, for every request that we get on Twitter or Facebook, we will send you a reply in 30 minutes, in seven languages, and your problem will be solved in 12 hours' time, which is a lot better than their offline service, as I've been told. And, but it's one of the strongest online service propositions I've ever seen. 30 minutes reply time, 24-7, seven, seven languages, problem solved in 12 hours. That helps to build trust and to boost the conversation potential. But they do more. They involve a lot of people and they want to collaborate with a large group of people uh, through their Facebook page. And they made a second tab there and it's called Bright Ideas. And it's like an ID box 2.0 where people can give ideas to KLM, other people can like it or comment it, or KLM can give ideas themselves and say, what do, what do you guys think about this? And they go even one step further. They want, or they created a community, a closed community behind the scenes with 400 frequent flyers. And they asked those 400 flyers, are you willing to act as consultants for us and help us in making the right decisions? And they specifically looked for frequent flyers because they, they said, you know, these guys can can help us, they know something about flying. Somebody who's on a plane once, once a year, it's not the same level of, of consultancy that they can offer us. And if you look through this, this quadrant, you will see that in each of those quadrants, there's a new form of communication, marketing, service discipline behind it. In the bottom right corner, it's about content marketing. Creating stories that are worth sharing. In the bottom left, it's about customer service. How can we help people? In the top right, it's about big, large forms of collaboration. How can we structurally involve people into our decision on a large uh, scale? And the top left is, can we create a customer consulting board? Can we use people as consultants? And overall, use a philosophy of conversation. Listen to people and talk back. <laughs>